Hello guys, I am Yadagir Reddy and welcome to the series of Java for Absolute Beginners. In this video, we will discuss about how we can download and install Java 11 version in Windows 10 operating system. So this will be same in the Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 operating systems also. Okay. So in my earlier video, we have already discussed about how we can download the Java 8 version and install it in the Windows 10 operating system, right? So you might be thinking like the Java installation is common in every version, right? Why do we need to learn this Java 11 separately? So the answer is no. The Java installation process between all these versions is not same actually. Okay. So maybe it is same before eight versions and after eight versions. So before eight, seven, six, five, all these versions have the same kind of installation process. And after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these have the separate installation process. So there are some ma major and minor differences when it comes to downloading part and installation part also. So first let me open the Chrome. So here I have the Windows 10 operating system and 64 bit. So first let me open the Chrome. I'll just type Java SE downloads. So I'll just open the first link. Or you can directly go to oracle.com website that is the official website for oracle. So once the page is loaded just click on the products from the menu bar and it will show you this menu okay. Under the software you have a java option click on that. So here in the top right corner you will see download java option just click on this. So this is the same page that we came from the search results also. So both the pages will be same only. So here we have Java 14, Java SE 11 and Java SE 8, right? Three versions are there. In my earlier video, we have already seen Java SE 8 installation. So in this video, we will mainly focus on Java SE 11. So here I will tell you the differences. Okay. So the first difference is when you come to this downloads page. So usually earlier we used to download JDK, JRE, whatever we want to download, right? That we used to download, right? For example, if I don't want to develop the applications and I simply want to run the applications in that case, I'll download only JRE, right? And if I want to develop the applications, then I will download JDK. But after the Java SE 8, we have only one kind of option that is JDK. So here itself, if you see, this is Java SE 11 and this is Java SE 8, right? So here we have options, JDK download, server JRE download, JRE download. We have three kinds of options, right? So, but after Java SE 8, we have only one option that is JDK. So that means we cannot download the JRE separately. Okay. So the JRE is actually combined into the Java JDK itself. So if you install the JDK by default, JRE also will come right. Earlier, we used to download the JRE also separately and install it. But going forward, we cannot do that. If you want JRE, then also you need to download the JDK only. So that is one major difference here in the downloads page. So here I'll just click on JDK download. So once you click on that, you will land in this page. So here also we have some differences. Okay. So what I will do first to show you, I'll click on Java SE 8 JDK download also from here. So now we are in JDK SE 8 page. Okay. So here if you observe, we have installer option for 32 bit, 64 bit, right? For every operating system in Linux ARM 32 64, Linux RPM 32 bit and 64 bit. So for everything we have 32 bit and 64 bit, right? For Windows also. But when it comes to this one, we have very less number of download options here. So you don't see anything like 32 bit 64 bit here. Okay. So in the Windows it is showing like 64 bit, but we don't have anything for 32 bit. That means we have only one installer for Windows, right? So that means they have provided a JDK which is compatible to 32 bit as well as 64 bit also. Okay. So that is one other difference. And one more difference is if you see here, we have the installer option. Okay. If you are downloading this one, you are getting the exe file. So in the 32 bit and in the 64 bit also, we used to get this exe files only. So these exe files are installers. That means we need to actually install it. So then it will physically install the software into our machine. But from Java SE 10, we have another option. That is, we can either choose to download the installer or we can download the zip file also, the compressed archive file. 
So for example, if you want to physically install this Java software in your machine, you can download the installer. Okay. If you don't want to install it, but still you want to use the Java, then you can download this zip folder and you can point your environment variables and everything to this location. Okay. So in this case, you are not actually installing it. So this is a zip format. You will simply unzip it and inside the JDK, you will have the bin folder. So to that bin folder, we will point the environment variables. In this one also, we are going to do the same, but here the physical installation will happen. Here it will not happen that way. Okay. So that is one more difference guys. So here in both these cases, right, the installer and this zip file, it will install the same set of files. Nothing changes. Okay. So here first I will download this one, the exe file. I will just check this checkbox and I click on download. So it will take me to Oracle login page and I need to provide the credentials and click on login. Then only the download will start. So here I will provide my credentials. So I just clicked on sign in. So in this bottom corner, you can see file is getting downloaded. Okay. So from this one, I will download the zip file for Java SE 11 JDK download. So this is the zip file. So I'll just click on this checkbox. So this time it is not asking for login because I have already logged in in this page, right? So that is why it detected the login and it is directly downloading that zip file. So I'll just open this one. So this one zip file is still getting downloaded. Okay. Meanwhile, we will simply install this installer. So this is the installer. So I'll just double click on this. So now we have seen the differences in the downloading part, right? So let's see whether any differences are there in the installation part also. Okay. So it is preparing. Okay. So here I need to click on next. So here, if you want to change the path, you can change from here. Or if you want to just continue with the default option, you can just click on next. So now it is installing JDK. So let's see after installing JDK, whether it will ask JRE installation or not. So let's see how this goes. So this time, if you observe properly, it is not asking another window for JRE installation, right? In the Java SE 8, first JDK will be installed, then JRE will be installed, right? So for JDK and for JRE, separately, it will ask the window, I mean, the confirmation window, right? Because it will give the options to change the installation directory. That time we used to have JDK separately and JRE separately. I mean, when you install by default, it will install JRE also, but we used to have the folders separately, right? JDK folder and JRE folder. But after Java version eight, we don't have separate folders. We basically have only one folder that is JDK. So that is the reason it is not asking another time confirmation for JRE installation. Only one time confirmation. It will show you to change the folder if you want to. Okay, so you can click on close. So that is the difference in the installation process. Okay, so I'll just refresh this page. So now the installation is completed, right? So now it's time to set the path. In the 1.8 or earlier versions of 1.8, after the installation, the path setting is mandatory, right? But after 1.8, I mean 1.9 or 9 or 10 or 11, in these versions, the path setting is not mandatory actually. Why? Because Java itself updates the path. Okay. So because of any issues it is not updating, you can explicitly update the path. So we need to first verify whether this is updated or not. So for that, I will open the command prompt. First, I will check the Java version, what I'm getting because I have Java 1.8 and 1.11 also installed. So if the path is updated, it should show only the latest version. So it should give me the 1.11 version. If the path is not actually updated, it will point me to 1.8 only. So I'll just press enter. So now if you see, it is giving me 1.11, that means Java 11. Okay. So next I will check Java C command also. So when I enter Java C, it is giving me the help options, right? If the path is actually not set, it will give me another error. Java C is not a recognized command like that. It will give me an error. Okay. 
but here I am not getting the error. It is identifying this Java C command and it is giving the help options. So that means the path is already internally set. So first let me go to the environment variables and let me check it. So I'll just click on environment variables. So here in the user variables, nothing is updated. So in the system variables, we have any Java home here? No, nothing related to Java home. So that must be set in the path variable itself. So let me edit this. So here, if you see two path variables are updated, right? So because of this, the command prompt is identifying. Okay. This we did not actually set. This was set by the Java itself internally. So when we are installing, right, that time itself it is setting. So if you want to explicitly mention that also you can do, you can just come to this window, click on new and provide the bin folder path. So if you just go to C drive, program files, Java, JDK 11, bin folder. So this bin folder path, you need to pass it there. Okay. So because of any issues, if your system is not able to set the path right, you can set it explicitly like this. Just give a slash, click on OK. OK, OK. So that is how you can set. OK. So for now, I'll just delete this one. Click on OK. So now this hard installation is completed, right? Now let's see how we can install using this zip file. So first I will extract this. the extraction is completed so let me go to this folder so here we have the bin folder i mean the jdk folder right so i'll show you the side by side comparison so this one the right hand side is actually zip folder but this one is installed that means hard installation this is installed inside program files okay so if you observe carefully, nothing is different. Okay, bin folder is there, config folder is there, include jmods, legal, lib, only the copyright option is not there and readme and release. So nothing else changes. So that is why you can download the installer and install or you can download the zip folder and extract it. So this time I will use the bin, I will go to bin folder, I will use this path and I will set it in the environment variables. So yeah, this is about installation of Java SE 11 in Windows 10 guys. So we have seen some differences, right? So that is the reason I have made a separate video for the installation of Java SE 11. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any doubts or if you are facing any issues while installation, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.